let's spend a few minutes taking a tour of Instana so when you come back you'll know where to find everything. We'll start here on the landing page. When you log into Instana, this is where you'll start. Here you can see a summary of everything that's being monitored by Instana. We've got our websites and mobile apps, <clears throat> our applications, our platform data, our infrastructure data, and our events. In each panel, you can filter by using the search box, and you can favorite items by clicking on the star so that they appear at the top of the list. You can also reorder the panels. You can also create custom dashboards by clicking up here on the Instana logo and clicking on the Create Dashboard button. And of course, you'll also see a list of any dashboards that you already have access to here. When you want to come back to this page, you can simply click up here on the Instana Stand logo. You'll notice that when I hovered over there, over that Stand logo, the left panel popped out. This is our navigation panel. Gives me access to all the other screens in Instana. And let's take a quick look at each one. Start here with the websites and mobile apps screen. This is where you can access monitoring data coming from end user web browsers and uh, native mobile applications. Instana monitors every request from every user and correlates that data with backend server activity. On these screens, you can check the performance of your websites and mobile applications and drill into analytics for further analysis of specific end user data. Moving down, we've got our applications area. The applications page lists all your applications and services that are being monitored by Instana. It displays the KPIs for each as well as the health indicators. When you click on any particular application or service, you'll drill into the summary dashboards. This information is captured by tracing and reveals how your applications are running and performing and interacting with each other. As with our websites and mobile apps area, you'll be able to drill into analytics and context for further analysis. Let's continue down. We've got our platform area. This is where you'll find platform specific data. In my case, that would be Kubernetes. We also support VMware Tanzu and vSphere. You'll be able to drill into the dashboards for your platform, explore all the infrastructure metrics that we provide for your platform. And as we've seen earlier, drill into analytics in context. Next, we have our infrastructure area. The infrastructure map allows you to explore the machines, containers, and technologies that have been automatically discovered by Instana's agents. You can rearrange this map using various different tags and metadata. You can filter based off of those tags and metadata. And you can actually use the dynamic focus query language itself to filter the metadata. Every infrastructure entity in Instana has its own dashboard where you'll be able to review and understand the performance metrics for that entity, as well as the relationship between that entity and other entities within the infrastructure, your platform, and the application. Next, we move down to our analytics area. Now you've seen me access this area already as it's available from the other screens where you can drill into it in context, but it's also available for you to access directly here. 
This is where you'll find all of our tracing data in the form of calls and traces, our website data in the form of beacons, our mobile app data in the form of sessions. In each case, you'll be able to use our filter toolbar for the most commonly used filters. For example, we could look for a particular service. Perhaps that was particularly slow and had some errors. You'll also be able to really choose any filter you want as all the, all the metadata is available here for you to use to filter the traces or beacons through the all filters button. Next, we have our events screen. This is where you'll be able to understand changes that have occurred, any issues that have occurred and incidents. This data is based off of a combination of the built-in Instana health rules, as well as any custom events that you guys have created. You'll be able to understand what triggered the issue or incident, and of course, drill into analytics for further analysis. So these are the main screens in Instana for accessing your performance data. We do have a couple more screens here that we'll quickly take a look at. We've got our settings screen where you'll be able to configure things like user access control and create your own custom events and alerts, configure our log management integration. Everything that you see here that can be configured in the UI can also be configured through the API. And finally, we have our more area, which has some helpful links, including a list of all the agents that are currently running in your environment, as well as uh, links to our documentation. So that does it for our quick product tour for today. Hope you found it helpful. As always, you can access our documentation for more information and please reach out to us with any questions.